Only 20% of PostHog users track their marketing sites using PostHog. We generally focus on engineers, but there's many insights marketing teams can get from using PostHog as well. To provide an example of this, this video goes over how the PostHog marketing team uses PostHog. It starts with goals. For us in the first quarter of 2023, these have been to increase overall weekly website unique visitors to 20,000 per week, increase first user and organization signups to 500 per week without decreasing the percentage that are in our ideal customer profile, get 80 signups each week that say they first heard about us from either YouTube, Twitter, or LinkedIn, and get 20% of the winter 2023 batch of Y Combinator to sign up for our Y Combinator deal. We measure all of these in different ways and have different insights for each, but all the important metrics end up on a marketing dashboard we check often. These are split into one for general marketing metrics and KPIs and another for site traffic and performance. On the marketing dashboard, we put our most important metrics at the top. These include user and organization signups, the percentage of ideal customer profile signups, and unique site viewers. This data comes from a combination of auto capture, actions, and custom events. This allows us to check that we're on track with our goals and make changes if not. Further down on the dashboard are refers by UTM source, where people have heard about us from a form on signup, and conversion funnel percentages for various pages. This allows us to make sure the key inputs that go into our key metrics are also moving in the right direction. It helps us track advertising to make sure we're spending resources in the right area as well. These insights act as circuit breakers for when things go wrong. For example, multiple times we've tanked the conversion rate of pages on our site because of changes. Seeing this in the funnel conversion over time allows us to identify this and fix it. On the website dashboard, we keep track of visitors in more detail, including breaking them down by section like blog, tutorial, docs, handbook, and more. To do this, we create individual trends for each of the section where the current URL contains the section in the slug. We track pages per sessions and sessions per user, not because we're looking to optimize them, but to compare them to benchmarks. These require utilizing the formula mode to divide pages by sessions or unique sessions by users. Because website content is core to our marketing efforts, much of this dashboard is dedicated to it. We compare all visitors with SEO visitors for individual posts in each of the sections. This is done by creating a trend and filtering for URLs that contain the section in the current URL, then breaking down by current URL. This is an insight type I find most useful for understanding what people are reading and helps me prioritize both what I'm writing and the videos I create. We also track our SEO articles performance specifically as it's a key focus for us. We add specific blog articles that perform the best SEO wise and use a time trend to check their growth and share views over time. This helps us keep track of the SEO algorithm and how it's impacting our traffic as well as prioritize future articles. These insights make up the core of our marketing dashboards, but we're continually honing them to better fit our goals and help us make better decisions. We adjust insights and move them around on our dashboard depending on how well they are serving us. Each quarter we update our objectives, along with this comes a modification to insights to help know if we're getting closer to them. If you're looking to try a similar dashboard for yourself, use the website traffic template we've created. Just go to your dashboard tab in PostHog Click New Dashboard, then select Website Traffic. You'll get one similar to one we've shown off in this video. So that wraps it up about how we use PostHog for marketing in PostHog. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this and check out posthog.com slash blog for the written version of this video. Thanks for watching.